So we are back here with another Redskin season, and before we get started here, actually going to start with Madden 19 coming out. Obviously, next week it is out right now with EA Access, but I'm going to wait till next week uh, to pick that up and start with that. And uh, what I'm going to do is uh, at the top of the screen, we'll have a little poll um, with teams that you think that uh, you would like to see. I'll probably have the final decision, whatever I want to do, no matter what, but I want to get an idea of what uh, teams you, you guys would like to see. So I'll have that up there and definitely put that in, into consideration. And then uh, when the franchise will start, I'm not really sure due to the fact that uh, I have to work on sliders and also uh, definitely want to check out the custom draft classes. I'm not sure when there might be one done. I might just do them myself. That might take a few, uh, you know, maybe like four to five days of hardcore, just you know, hours and hours of doing it. But I, I could just do it myself, maybe the first two or three years, get them done. And uh, but in, unless there's already one out there, so that's I want to wait for that as well because I definitely want to have uh, the real college players in there going forward in this franchise. I think it just makes it a lot better. So that's what's going to be happening for Man 19 and. Uh, Hopefully, uh, so far it looks okay, so hopefully it'll be a good game and we can have a nice solid franchise here for Madden 19. So now on to this, and as you can see, as I was talking earlier, the uh, free agent list and guys who are going to have to re-sign here going forward is, you know, it's pretty crazy. So many guys, um, we're obviously not going to have enough money to sign everybody, so we just have to kind of pick and choose who we want to try to bring back here. Um, Dallas ended up winning the Super Bowl, so the Cowboys finally get to a Super Bowl and uh, win it. Uh, they didn't have to go through us, so maybe that's why <laughs> they finally got past here. So now the decision of who do we bring back, I think Ray Doreen for sure. We'll try to work out a deal like we did last year, and uh, uh, we're just going to up it as much as we can this year just to see if we can uh, get him to re-sign. And he thinks free agency. He doesn't want to resign a contract. There's no way I'm giving that contract to Evan Casey a punter. There's no way I'm giving you $22 million over that. That's not happening. BJ Merlin. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I, I think we could find offensive lineman. OJ Howard's a no for sure as well. Mark Chapman, a guy I want to bring back. He's only 25 years old, and it's hard to find corners in this game. So this is a guy I'd like to bring back. He's he's brought back, so that's good. Yeah, OJ Howard, 31. I know tight ends are the same thing, hard to find, but I think we can get something else. Uh, Marquise Pouncey, uh, just the normal development. He hasn't really progressed as much as I wanted to, so I'm not sure about him. Same with Ryan Anderson, 32. I think we can find somebody. We've been able to uh, really draft guys uh, outside linebackers. We've been able to find some guys, so I think we can do that. Casey Orr, obviously we lost uh, defensive tackle last year, so hopefully we can bring Orr back. Yeah, I know he's 27, maybe a three-year deal. And he's not interested in signing, so we'll see. We'll, we'll, I'm not sure we'll bring him back. I mean, we'll try to. I mean, he is the quick dev, 82 overall. Um, I'm not sure if we use a franchise tag, because I think I'm going to use that on Ray Doring. Um, Raymond Conati, 82. Uh, only 26 years old. See if we can work out a contract with him. That's not too bad. Just 12 million. About. 13 million over four years he's signed so we at least have him morgan cole this is the interesting one um i think i'd like to bring him back for sure but with this contract jordan howard might be expendable i mean jordan howard is getting up there in age obviously for a running back so morgan cole you see didn't sign there but i'm going to definitely go back after him in free agency for sure larry okanjobi don't even worry about patrick sherman like to have that depth at corner but man that's a high contract i'm not sure let's see what lynn hobson wants that's a little bit better um yeah hobson i mean it's like a million less so hobson resigns Foles. don't worry about him dylan huntington we can um yeah that's not too bad for a backup and he he performed okay but he's going to go to free agency. And then DeWitt Allen, I don't think we're going to sign him either. So we have too many guys that really, you know, are a lot better. He hasn't really gone up any, hasn't really progressed. So I think we're just going to let him go. But Ray Doring, we're going to franchise him again here uh, for the second straight year since he didn't resign. And man, uh, BJ Merlin. I mean, it's tough. He's a quick development. He is 29 years old. He is an 88 overall center, so a good offensive lineman. We have a young quarterback. 
I'd really like to bring him back. I mean, he's not interested in signing. I know we can go to probably free agency and try to bring him back. So we're going to go to free agency here. See who... Uh, so I'm thinking we'll have to sign a backup quarterback for sure. Definitely go back after Morgan Cole, try to pick him up. We'll just see if there's anybody else. So Evan Casey, yeah, I'm not giving you that contract. For a punter, that's insane. Um, nobody's offered him anything, so we're just going to lowball him here and just see if it can, we can get it to work out. I know that's not even that great of a contract, but, you know, whatever. So Teddy Bridgewater, I think we're going to try to resign as a backup quarterback. Morgan Cole, try to get him back as well. So we're going to have to work out a bigger of a deal than I wanted, unfortunately, because the Cardinals are battling us here. And you see they have just overtaken us there with a the contract. So we're going to go crazy for Morgan Cole. I think he's going to be the starting running back. Uh, Todd Chickalo we're going to try to bring back as well, tight end. And then we go to Larry Ogunjobi. I didn't think I was going to bring him back, but uh, obviously Casey Orr losing him. He's getting massive deals. I think we just need some depth there, so we're going to try to bring back Ogunjobi. So we get past the first stage there. It looks like a Joby signs. Bridgewater, Morgan Cole have signed. So we bring him back. But now with Morgan Cole as the starting running back, we're going to offload here Jordan Howard. Send him to the Cardinals, who were trying to get Morgan Cole for a second round pick there. So not too bad. We get another second round, another pick there, and try to build up this team even more into the draft. Uh, JV on Clowney sitting there. He's 33 years old. Uh, I think actually he, he could start. I was thinking about just for depth or backup, but I think he can start. We can move him to an end position. Um, so, yeah, we'll try to get him. And you see Evan Casey did sign that contract. Same with Clowney, same with Chicolo. So those are the guys we pick up uh, in free agency. You can take a look at this team right now uh, defensively. So we're going to take um, Clowney, move him there to end. So we have Okunjobi starting at the moment, but he probably won't quite try to draft the defensive tackle. Clowney. You got May Smalls there, the outside linebacker. So uh, this should be a – it's going to be a younger team, but I think still pretty good. So uh, it'll be Robinson's second year as we're about to head into this draft. Maybe need a center, center maybe. Um, yeah, probably a defensive tackle, maybe a, a strong safety. Linebackers I think were good. So uh, that's kind of the things we're looking at in this draft. So I think we start the center field draft. We have the number six pick. And we have the number 10th pick. Obviously, made that trade last year to get uh, that first-round pick. So, uh, let's see. So, we're looking at these players here. Uh, Frank Beasel, the free safety. I think this is the pick here. We can just move him over to strong safety. And, well, we'll see who else is down here. Zeke Palmer, tight end. I don't think I want to take a tight end that high. Um, we don't need any outside linebackers, wide receivers, or halfbacks. The Mac Mons, the defensive tackles there, but there's guys there that looked a lot better with the. Uh, so we go with Frank Beasel, 80 overall, uh, normal development. So pretty good pick, I'll take it. Um, so he's pretty good pick there. As now we head to 10. So now maybe look at a defensive tackle. Like I said, there's a few other guys. There's Mac Mons there, but the C plus hit plower, uh, C plus block shedding. He did have a good combine, uh, but. Glenn McPherson, just a little bit better. His combine, not as good. So I think we're going to try Glenn McPherson here, just better stats overall. He is a 79 overall. He has slow development, but that can improve. As long as he, if he can get near maybe like a Pro Bowl or something, he can uh, that can go up. So Jack Moreland has been going to the second round pick. We're going to try to get some depth on outside linebacker. Quick development, 74 overall. He just always seemed to find those guys. As we get to our next pick here in the second round, I think we're going to keep Getting the depth for defensive tackle, Zachary Bierman, 73 overall, will be the pick there. As we head now into the third round, keep going with the offensive line. Joey Chavez, the pick. He's a 71 overall with normal development. Uh, round number four, and now we're just looking at trying to find. We found a couple of these guys. Llewellyn Lowe, he is a uh, left outside linebacker. He is a 74 overall, quick development. So the outside linebacker depth is great there. No problems as we head into the sixth round running out here. Joseph Barclay, and he ends up being a 79 overall. Quick development. I think what we'll do is move him to center. So in the sixth round, we just find guys, and now you can take a look at the depth chart here going forward. Uh, receivers look pretty good. Tight end, obviously, a little weak. Chickalo will start there. So left tackle will be Atkins, guard, Varial, and then center. Uh, we move Barclay over to center. He's an 80 overall. Kanadi, we brought back re-signing. So this offensive line's pretty solid. Uh, it, you just seem to find guys in later rounds in here. 
So really, that's why I don't mind losing some guys, not offering huge contracts to offensive linemen. And same with defensive tackles. You can just find guys. Um, and I tell you what, our linebacker core is probably the best in football for sure. Uh, just the speed, the youth, it's, it's really good. Corners are good. And then the safeties. Uh, now bringing on Frank Beasel, I think this team's pretty solid. I think we can definitely make a playoff run for sure. Obviously missed out last year. Hopefully Robinson improves as a quarterback his second year, and uh, hopefully you know everything kind of works out. We'll sim to midseason here and see where we're at, and uh, hopefully it, it's uh, a lot better than last year. So here we go. When we are three and four, as you can see, so not looking too good. But the Giants are three and four. We'll have to take a look at the division. Cowboys owning four and four. So we are three and four, but uh, we are only a game out of the division lead there. So offense not looking good. Defense not looking good that either. 18 from defense. Robinson is improving. 12 touchdowns, eight interceptions. Cole's a little bit disappointing with the yards per carry. Only three touchdowns. Um, Thompson, not too bad. Tharp had a pretty good year. So, uh... Eh, it's just average year, and that makes sense with the record. Three and four, everybody's kind of average. So Martinez Fields clowny there with four. So not a whole lot going on here, and hopefully it gets a lot better in the second half of the season, and hopefully we can uh, get something going here. So we'll sim to the playoffs, and we'll see if we make it. Who knows? Here we see. Let's see if we can uh, get into the playoffs. And we do it a 9-7 and seven record, so we're back in the playoffs. Last year missing out. And now we are back here, nine and seven, and making the wild card. Cowboys at ten and six. We just missed winning the division. Looks like we turned things around there. Um, but man, the NFC must be a little rough. I mean, nine and seven. I guess that'll make get, get you wild card every now and then. So Browns win that AFC North. I tell you the difference. The Ravens ten and six in the AFC do not even make a wild card. So that shows you the difference. Jaguars win that division. Bills at eleven four one win their division. And then the Chargers at eight and seven and one win their Lions at nine and seven win the uh, North. The South goes to the Panthers. Buccaneers get the other uh, wild card at ten and six. So Dallas and us uh, in there, and then Arizona at ten and six. They win. Um, did they get home field advantage? Wow, at ten and six, that's pretty crazy. Reggie Robinson, there you go. Thirty-two touchdowns, fifteen interception, completion percentage of sixty-two percent. Rating of 93.9. You really can't complain about that. Good second solid season for him. Morgan Cole over 1,000 yards and eight touchdowns. Bradley over 10 touchdowns as well. Two guys pretty close to 1,000 yards. One over 1,000 yards. Mims and Thorpe. Uh, Thompson down a little bit. I'm just guessing he, yeah, he going to play 12 games. So he was injured for four games. So if he was in there for the rest of the four, um, I could say he'd probably be up there as well. Uh, as for sacks, Martinez feels good season, 12 sacks, Clowney with 7, interception, Hudson Sam leads the team, Frank Beasel the rookie, there we go, 3 picks, Chapman with 3, Doreen with 3, um, so nice job by Frank Beasel the rookie there, as we'll take a look at the stats here for the league, Joey Higgins, another crazy season, 5,000 yards, just about 5,000 yards, over 40 touchdowns, Kevin Spann there, he leads the league with 41 touchdowns, and Mac Meyer from the Ravens, 40 touchdowns there as well. Parker also in a good season, 33 touchdowns and 15 interceptions. Tariq Cohen leads the league in rushing again with about 1,700 yards. Jordan Howard up there with 1,300. Leonard Fournette, another 20 touchdown season. Man, that guy has got to be moving up the list in rushing touchdowns because it seems like every year uh, he has 20 touchdowns. Allen Robinson leads the league. Mike Evans, once again, just a resurgence in his career. Uh, second in the league in catches and then leading the league in yards and then up there in touchdowns as uh, T. Wadsworth leads the league with 16, Malik Olsen, Sanders, Richard Rodgers with 11. Uh, defensively, let's take a look who led the league in sacks here. And it's going to be uh, Derek Atkinson, 18 sacks. Martinez Fields was tied for third overall. And then you can see the interceptions there. Um, so we go to play the Cardinals here in the wild card game. Can uh, we go forward here and keep the keep it riding? And we do. So we've beaten the Carolina Panthers to take on the Arizona Cardinals. Let's see, take a look at what happened here. Uh, beat the team 32 to 30. So just pulling it out there at the end. Man, we had a, a very good game offensively. That's for sure. 
over 500 yards. Man, Robinson with 448, one touchdown, one interception. Um, heck of a game there. Cole with two touchdowns. Uh, let's see. Mims with 13 catches for 154. Thompson had seven for 94. And then Tharp had four for 92 and a touchdown. I'm going to almost had three uh, receivers there, over 100 yards. And we just barely pulled it out. So maybe the defense needs to step it up here. Uh, Martinez feels with a sack. And then Chapman had the interception. So we win the wild card game. And now we're going to take on the Arizona Cardinals here, who ended up being the number one seed in the NFC. So hopefully uh, we can continue on here. Uh, we would face the winner of the Buccaneers and Cowboys. So could we have another Redskin Cowboy NFC Championship? We don't, but we're in the NFC Championship game against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. So the Cowboys and the defending champs are out. Uh, let's take a look what happened to that. Man, we destroyed Arizona. Look at the Jets in Jacksonville, 54-48. But we take care of the number one seed easily here, 31-3. Defense stepped up now. You can see Robinson really didn't have that great of a game, but uh, Kona Nelson... We absolutely owned him there. Three picks, only 140 yards uh, passing. Don't really do much on the ground. So really it looks like we didn't really need to do a whole lot in this game because the defense just took care of everything. Uh, great job by the defense. I mean, we didn't even have a sack. But Dorian Moss, three interceptions for Dorian Moss. Heck of a game there. And we move on to the NFC Championship game. Unbelievable. I mean, I thought we'd be a playoff team, but maybe not that good to get to the NFC Championship game. As we take a look at this uh, Tampa Bay and Dallas game, so it looks like Tampa Bay maybe made a comeback, wins it in uh, overtime. Nate Cohen with five touchdowns. So, so Dallas goes down, um, and now uh, Tampa Bay with the resurgent Mike Evans here. They're a pretty dangerous team. They look pretty good. They have some uh, nice pieces there. So we take on Tampa Bay, and let's see if we can make it to another Super Bowl here. We uh, would face the winner, the Jets versus Bills. We faced the Jets once before in the Super Bowl and ended up beating them. So let's see what happens here. We're going to advance and see if we can make it to the Super Bowl. Here we go. Can we make it? And we do not. We do not make the Super Bowl, and looks like we have just lost. Yep, we lost to Tampa Bay, 34-26. to So, uh, you know, all in all, I have to say, pretty good season. Um, <laughs> the team wasn't that bad. Reggie Robinson had a pretty good um, NFC Championship there, 332. Not too bad for a second-year guy uh, making it all the way to the NFC Championship game. Cole was a little bit of a disappointment this year. Uh, receivers, I thought, were pretty good. You know, looked good and Robinson really stepped up uh, we'll just have to keep improving in defense and then hopefully uh, you know maybe next year make it to the Super Bowl and I'm thinking I'm thinking just doing one more of these we'll go all out in the next offseason uh, just I don't even care about the cat we'll just go all out see if we can win a Super Bowl and um, end it there I think we'll do one more after this and then just end it and then it'll be on to Madden 19 and then hopefully whoever we start with the franchise there, it'll be a uh, franchise like this, a long, nice franchise. And hopefully um, it'll be fun. It'll be really exciting. That's what I'm hoping for for Madden 19. So that's pretty much going to do it for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching and supporting. Uh, we will see you in the next one. Have a good one. Bye-bye.